Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Sweet Transit, playing the closed beta. Let's pick up where we left off last episode. We set up a new uh, farm here for potatoes, and we set up trains to deliver workers to the potato farm, and then also set up a train to bring those potatoes into town. Everything is running. We're sticking with my less efficient intersections here, just in the interest of time. Let's go ahead and hit play. We wanted to check on a couple things. We want to make sure that every station is eventually getting coal. And we noticed that even though I put coal storage at the wood station, uh, we didn't have a route to deliver coal here. So hopefully we can remedy that. We do have an issue with tired workers. Workers are tired. Bring a new worker, group of workers, and send the current ones home. We... We did set ourselves up with one new passenger train. Where is that? I think it's here. So we could divvy up the routes. That passenger train, I think, is only taking workers to the potato sta station. We could potentially add a stop and... Uh, Kind of distribute the load between our two passenger trains. I'm not sure what the worker requirement is. Let's take a look. Can we tell how many workers are here now? It looks like it's 40 at a time. Is that the max? Yeah, it says 40 over 40, right? And our wagon on our passenger train here, I think, holds 40. So let's look at the route. Workers to coal one. Okay, we added the wood station here. So we've got coal. Then we go to the station. Then oh. I wonder if we need to. Yeah, we this route doesn't. This route looks like it. Oh no, 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 no. It's got four steps. Let's look at it in the actual route window here. This is workers to coal one, right? Yeah. We pick up workers, we drop them off, we pick up workers, and we drop them off. That doesn't look too bad. Assuming this train is not running out of coal or running into some kind of difficulties. It should be delivering fresh workers. Okay, here's the situation. We've got a tiny little backup. It looks like we're about to get coal delivered here, or we just did. don't see it right that's our coal train it's got plenty of coal in it i cannot for some reason tell whether this coal storage actually has coal uh let's see if this train refuels it's at a hundred uh, maybe it did some display I'm missing here I'm expecting to see how much fuel is sitting at the potato station because I've got coal storage attached to it and for some reason I'm just not finding that your farm fuel storage it says plus 10 can I tell Requires a coal deposit. Let's see this train. It's got 88% fuel. Let's see if it refuels. If it does, then we know then coal was delivered here. We're loading up potatoes. It's going to take another, what, 15 seconds. So we'll just... Can I speed? Let's speed up time. No, it did not refuel. And that's right after... The uh, coal train stopped by and should have unloaded. Let's look at the coal route, which needs to be renamed. Potato Station. It should have unloaded coal right here. And I thought we verified that the coal storage could be refueled, could, uh, 
doesn't need to be on the tracks itself, just connected to the station. We're going to have the same situation here, I'm sure. We can fast forward a little bit. This one's not going to refuel. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Hmm. What should we do about that? Could have sworn we had one of those working, but maybe it was just the coal storage. Coal station's kind of a complicated one to actually debug. Let's look and see if there's a pop-up hint on the coal storage. We want trains to be able to refuel. That's why we're putting them here. Here's our potato truck again, our potato train. Eight. No, it's not going to refuel. We've already seen this. Hmm. I feel like we had this work in an earlier episode. We won't obsess over it too much longer. May need to sit on the tracks. Let's pop one. Right here. We'll see if that makes any kind of difference. Uh, but now let's look and see what our problems are. Okay, build a potato field. We unlocked that objective. I'm over here at the top left of the screen. Reach population of laborers. We did that a few times. Now they want us to get up to 800 laborers. And we've got problems with efficiency. And we've got surplus workers already. So we don't want to add more homes. This guy... Our town has no problem taking delivery of coal, but it may have a different, kind of a different inventory for that. I may have been fooled thinking it was this, uh, this little, um, this guy here. I can click it. You, right there. Fuel. Prog station. See, the station shows the fuel amount on this display. Let's see. I click on one of these stations. Potato station. Yeah, 0 of 20. It is not getting fuel. I'm not sure why. We've got a coal train delivering. Where is our coal train? It is... About to go into town. Uh, where is it? Yeah, it's in town here. Okay, there goes our coal supply in Prague increasing. Okay, and this guy's got to wait for another little bit. We'll speed it up. Yeah, right now I'm trying to diagnose why we've got 10, 20... Got 30 coal left. This is trying to diagnose why we're not getting coal to our potato farm and our wood plantation over here. Okay, where is he going to go? You. You're heading to load coal. Let's follow this guy around one more time. Loading up coal. Fully loaded. Heading to the potato station. Come back to single speed so I can kind of monitor what's happening here. Got a full load of coal, coal going to the potato station and he's got orders to unload it. Pause for a second, and let's look at that route one more time and see if there's some little toggle or something I'm missing. We're right here. Unload. That's all I can do, right? Visit, pass, load, swap workers, swap travelers. We Unload is the right choice. Got a filter. We could say coal, but I... Well, let's do it just for the heck of it. Something to do different. Don't know that we need a filter, but do it. 
And we've got the weight condition for 20 seconds. That should be plenty. Let's kind of watch that train do its thing. There's a little loop there. This guy is taking workers. Okay, this one should be able to make the turn. Gonna have to wait for the worker train. Occurs to me we could add another stop, right? Since these guys are only delivering 40 workers at a time and each car takes 40 workers. That means once this train stops in Prague, it's got 80 fresh workers or enough fresh workers for two stations. So it should probably make be this one should probably make in two trips or two stops. Instead of just the one to the potato farm. But we're interested in the train behind it. I'm going to pause so I can get the focus set right. Interested in you and more interested in this display right here. Fuel. We've got room for 20 fuel and that's probably 10 from this little storage we put on the tracks and 10 from this storage that we put right next to the potato station. I'm I want to see this train unload into the station. There it goes. And that's working now. Is it because the storage is on the tracks? It would kind of make sense, but that wasn't necessary in the town. Right? The town's got all kinds of coal. And I don't have this little storage on the tracks, but maybe the town is a little different in how cold delivery takes place. Something's different. Now we did, yeah, something's different because we don't have the filter or anything. The only thing I changed was putting this little filter on here. Let's see, it's gonna make the trip now to the wood station. Should have plenty of coal on board still. 44, 43, yeah. Let's see what happens when it stops at the wood station. We don't have the coal filter there. So let's let's uh, play on and debug a little bit. We're making money, so we don't have to worry too much about uh, running in the red. Oh, this I didn't... <laughs> this works. <laughs> this works, but I should just put... Uh, I should just put a branch there. That looks kind of fun. Yeah, I didn't put the little side stalks here to... Almost doesn't matter because these are all in the same block. But yeah, the intersections aren't aren't optimized right now. And just try to ignore that. Okay, now we want to see if we can get coal into the wood station. We've only got room for 10, but without having this uh storage on the tracks. This might tell us something. Looks like this signal is too far forward too. We could move that back. I have to remember to do that. All right, let's let this go. Here comes our coal train. Place your bets. Are we going to get coal dropped off or not? The train's got plenty of it. We are. Yes, I'm not sure. Maybe it has to do with a full circuit first. But we did see this coal train leave the station the very first time and not drop off any coal. Looks like it's working now, though, so we're good. Don't need to worry about that anymore. I'm going to move this signal back there. And, yeah, we could fix these tracks to be a little more efficient. <laughs> but I'm not going to worry about that either. Let's look. It says not enough work. So... What can we do to remediate that? I mean, I can get... Look, we have that other resource on the map here. Play. And we could be making bricks and that. Let's see, what do they want us to do? We don't have any objectives other than increasing our number of laborers. And until we do, they're not going to give us Quarry or stone storage, stone works, small park, first foliage, and props. We've got too many workers. 
couple things come to mind. One is if I've got exhausted workers. This if I've got exhausted workers and I can rotate them out faster. And that may have the effect of creating more work for people. Because they're not working longer shifts. That means more people required to staff these factories full time. Zero workers here at the coal station. What's that all about? I see. The station itself. Does it need workers? Not sure. Coal mine definitely does. Stations? I don't know if those need workers or not. Let's check the... Let's check the potato farm where we've got a train that's dropping off 80 workers. Does the station get workers? No. And it's out of coal already. Maybe we need more coal storages here. Let's do it. Boom, boom, boom. Fortunately, with this, uh, coal wagon on there, that, uh, seems to be keeping our trains fully fueled. Yeah, trying to think of the best thing to do now. Let's look at what we can build. Did we unlock anything else that we haven't built yet? I think we've built everything that we have unlocked. We got the potato farm. We got coal mine. We've got sawmill. We haven't unlocked the quarry. We can't do it yet. Tell you what, let's fix our passenger trains a bit. Let's see if we can take our passenger train one here, send this to the depot, add another car, add maybe the coal wagon to it. I don't know if that's super efficient. And then have this guy pick up two loads of workers stop at two stations uh, between each trip back to Prague. Let's see. Can we do it? <clears throat> Send a train to the train depot. Okay, it just disappears. I think that's how Voxel Tycoon kind of did it. Uh, what? What? Maybe I have to pause. Disable. Okay. Send to the train depot. Boom. We edit now. You. Info. Fable. And I, let's see. How can we... How can we update this train? Okay, that's the depot menu. Here's... Okay, we don't even have that in the list anymore. Let's hit play. Display, enable it. Pause the game. Train to depot. <clears throat> trying to find out how we can uh, edit this guy. Cancel. Add train to queue. Train depot. Clicking. There it goes again, squirreling out of here. The train depot, there's gotta be a way, right? Depot. Try add train to Q. Can I get it? No, this is all train preset stuff. I don't want that. I'd like to edit this train. Copies. 
Time left to build a single train. Change the route list. Boy, there's probably something obvious. It's probably right in front of my face. Files, maximum length, fine. Locate. Seems like there should be a real easy way. I'm missing something. Change the route. I'm just not seeing it. I may have to give up on this and just delete this train. Just in the interest of time. I can't can't grab it. Locate, right? It's not gonna let me do anything. Not disabled. Maybe do I have to disable it and then edit it? Cool. Is it gone? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. I trained a queue. These are the presets, right? So I don't think this is gonna this is gonna help me at display. Let's hit play and just see what happens. Can I assign a train? Let's do the take the route. Workers to coal, inactive route. Do our control shift. I think, yeah, we're playing. Let's do control shift, right mouse button. See if we get anything. Not seeing much. Says disabled. Play again, I guess. We'll enable. Idle. My depot one. Try this again, control shift, right mouse button. Can't, I can't find it. Cannot find it. That's all right. Let's do a new train. At train to queue. Let's just uh, do it. We want this one. Build it. We're going to call it. That's fine. And then I think. Can we rename this? I feel like there needs to be a way to edit these. But I'm not sure how. We're going to do coal. No, not coal. We're going to do workers to coal one. And then let's change this route. We're going to go into Prague. We're going to swap workers. We're going to go to the coal station, and then we're going to go to the wood station. Then we're going to go get more workers. And that might do it. In fact, I don't need this grip. Let's take a look. Do we have our train, or did I not click build? Oh, passenger train, potato haulers. This one. We want to change this to, this is workers to coal and wood. Wood. about that? That might be all right. Okay, that's our new train with workers. Got 80 workers on board, all fresh, freshly rested. Heading over to the coal station first. Coal station's got tired workers, I'm guessing. We'll see if that speeds it up. If not, we may need another we may need another passenger train. Basically trying to solve a couple things. The issue that we have with workers that are getting tired because they're working too long before they get 
a fresh shift of workers to replace them or relieve them. And this whole not enough work issue down here. Efficiency I'm not too concerned about. And um, the reason I want to try to solve this not enough work is we need to get more laborers in our town. But it's not a good time to bring more people in if they're already complaining about not having work. Now, look, not enough work looks like it's coming down. That one just went away. So maybe the strategy is going to work. We'll see. Probably going to cycle through, you know, go up, then go down. Oops, that's not what I wanted. We're making plenty of money. Let's just look at our potato stock while we're thinking about it. These guys are complaining about not having work. Frog is doing pretty good on potatoes. Really good on fish. And good on coal. It'd be nice if we could sell fish or something. Have more workers. Okay, there's the potato station getting coal. That should be full up now. 45 out of 50. Here we're going to pick up a load of potatoes. Looks like we've already got some we couldn't unload from last time, potentially. And then here's our fresh batch of workers. This train could make another stop. I think we're just carting some people around that don't really have a place to go work. Because this... This passenger train has one stop where it's going to exchange 40 workers, but it's carrying 80 workers. So we could... Send it over here. Efficiency zero. Really? Not enough workers. There are not enough people working, which makes work inefficient. Got no workers there. What? What? Let's check my route. That was the, was that the wood station? No workers? Wow, wood station, no workers. Swap workers. Where's our people train? Waiting. Could be that just this, this just needs to cycle through. While we're here, let's add some more full storage. Okay, that one clears. This one comes in. Should replenish workers here. And see that little lot notification go away. There they are. They're loading up. Punching in for the day. Okay, where are we at here? Yeah, 20 seconds. So I was just going to see if we could take that down to 10. But it looks like 20 is probably what it takes. A little bit less. Looked like it took about 12 or 15 seconds to unload all the workers. This guy. What? 20 workers. 20 workers in each car. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there was no workers there. There were no workers there at all. I don't know. Maybe they just got unloaded last time. This guy's going to swap out. Should end up with 40, I'm guessing. Or should load up with 80, right? 80 total workers. Okay, we still have the not enough work indicator here. It should be fully fueled. Yep. 
Comes a big old load of potatoes. They're going through them. That should make these folks a little happier. They've got two of their needs met. We've got bread and clothes. We don't have that unlocked, so there's nothing we can really do about that yet. And I'm just kind of fine-tuning, trying to fine-tune our people transport and factory efficiency. These workers are already tired, but it's not horribly inefficient. It is a long trip to get these guys replenished. I hate to have a single train for each station. The other thing we could be doing <clears throat> is taking some shortcuts. Instead of having to double all the way back down, these little kind of fingers that are shooting out could run some new track that would allow us to drop off workers quicker. Be a little screwy to do the routing for that, but we could do it. Let's just see if this guy leaves this station with 80 workers. Curious. If it loads up the exhausted workers or not. That's kind of what I'm wondering. Or if it's only showing us the... Uh... No, it looks like, yeah, it's going to take out the... Exhausted ones. Maybe those are the ones in... Parentheses. Able to work 20... Rested at 65%. Okay. Not sure what the rested at 65% means. We've got a fresh crew in here. 100% efficiency now. In this train, each car has... Half of the workers, I believe, are arrested. Or at least able to work. Not enough work is down to six people. Production is inefficient. Efficiency can be improved by ensuring workers are well rested. Upkeep is maintained. And all needed services are, can be reached by road. Okay. And we're making money. I kind of think we're on some kind of easy settings, though, because it hasn't been hard. Loading up wood here. There it goes. Workers here are tired, but not bad. 81%. Doesn't seem bad to me. We've got a train here of half tired work, half tired workers and half new fresh workers. Let's see how this all plays out. Okay, our efficiency's going up. We're getting the fresh workers in, and then hopefully I'm gonna take a train out with all tired workers who can't work. And that looks like exactly what's happening. Yeah, it takes a little more than 10 seconds to do the worker exchange, so we gotta keep this at 20 probably. All right, our inefficiency little warning is gone. We've only got the not enough work and it's only six people. We need to build more homes, I guess. We're just stuck having to have a bunch of people without work, right? In order to get this to 800 population, I've got to add 135 people that aren't going to have a job. So we're going to get some angry messages here, but looks like that's going to be the only way for us to satisfy this. Unless we have, like, some kind of need for more material. I don't think we do. We've got tons of fish. Tons of coal. And potatoes look like they're keeping up to me. Right? Workers are happy. They got a little bit of a bonus because they think the settlement is attractive. I did try to put a new coat of paint on this particular house. That's looking pretty good. Uh, what else? 
What else? What else? We saw in the tutorial eventually we'll be able to plant trees and things. I don't see that option yet. There's what else could we be building that we're missing? The market. It provides nearby residences with a place to gather and trade. Most village buildings cannot operate without a market and rage. Did we not build a market? That is something I think we unlocked a while ago. and I just forgot about it. Let's build it. Got a spot right there. Boom. That may help solve our worker issue too. The inhabitants are unhappy. They don't like the market. Okay, make sure they have access to all the services needs. Sure. Let's see what happens here with this. Market. It looks like it takes 20 people. Uh, you guys cannot be unhappy after I add a market. Prices are too high. I'm going home. See what it says for it again. Provides a nearby residence. A place to gather and trade. Most village buildings cannot operate without it. Provides residents with trading options. Capacity 100. It's going to chew up 20 workers. So we should get rid of the whole there isn't enough workers error. That looks like we solved that little warning. How are we doing on upkeep kind of stuff? Let's look at our main warehouse, then we'll call it an episode and just see um, the maintenance and all that if we're keeping up with production. Okay, this says production 60, upkeep 48. That looks good. And coal's the only other thing we're producing, and that thing's loaded. We can't do cut stone just yet, we can't do bricks. That's not a problem. Why are you guys happy? Unhappy. There's something. Maybe the couple of people can't reach the market. Yeah, it's these guys. The market is not in range. It's not that far of a walk. You guys built a town. Can't walk to the corner. We could pop another one in. That'll help solve our population problems also. Or our working problems. Let's do it. Man, these people are demanding. Let's get a market in here to serve the other half of the community here. Let's do it. Can I rotate? You and E. What about? What about right there? Kind of opposite side. Or like that, maybe? I hate to have it right near the station, right? Because uh, that's prime space for housing. We saw that when houses are too far away, then they can't reach the station, at least until we upgrade our roads. So maybe something like this is a little better. A little further away from the station. Keep that the land close to the station available for housing. Where workers can get there. This is still looks like it's going to provide access. I think I'm going to go for it. And then we'll end the episode. One, two, right there. Boom. I think. Yeah, that's we're gonna go for it hey efficiency is below 100 percent heaven forbid but all my other were uh all of my other warnings are gone this is a good place to wrap up this episode i think we'll do that i want to give a shout out as always to glider cat patrons and channel members your contributions make this content possible look at that no problems no problems we've won the game we have beat sweet transit not quite. We've got more stuff to do. We'll next episode we'll look to amp up the uh amp up our pop population here and see if we can't unlock all these buildings. It looks like there's some production here that's gonna allow us to have some work to do. And a park too, maybe to beautify the area, it looks like. Kind of cool. And I think this all this stuff does. Props. Cool. All right, that's it for now. This is the Glider Cat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. Also, special thanks to those of you that have been giving the videos a thumbs up. I'm told that helps my tiny channel grow, and I could always use that. So I appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next episode.